I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to move pictures randomly or uh, in csout.net windows uh, application. So let's go to our toolbox and here first I am going to take a picture box. So at here I am going to take for picture box. So this is the picture box for this is the third. And here, this is the second. Now here, I'm going to increase the size of picture box. So about the picture box, so I discussed already. So two ways to import the picture box. So first is uh, direct method, and next is uh, by uh, giving some codes. So at here, I'm going to uh, take the picture direct to, to save the times. So here, click on this arrow. Here after, choose image. So here, after project resource files, click on import. So right here, I am going to take butterfly for picture box 1, click OK. Here after next, choose image. So next I am going to take add here, desert, OK. Here after, click next, choose image. So selecting image and here after next is flower. Click OK. Now here after choose image here import. So this time I'm going to use sunset. So for picture at home it's now in our picture box. So next is going to take one button control and here I am going to increase the size and here after I need timer control. Now here after double click on form. So add here the load event of form it's open. Now let's go inside of or public parcel cross form 1 and here I am going to take a random cross so if you like to know about the random cross so this is a cross here system.random comes under name is space system.random and here represents 0 random number generated which is derived that produces a sequence number that meets certain statics so this is the generate zero number. So I am going to create the object of ran random R by using new keyword here random class. Now hereafter taking list class. So about the list class I already discussed. So oh please see my previous uh, videos. So there you can find list about the list class. So add here integer i and next variable c and t initializing with 0. Now here after I am going to create the timer class object t and here after go inside of form 1 and here or t dot here or write to interval. So about the interval, get and set the times in millisecond before the timer click event rest. So this is the what interval. So I am giving the uh, 550 millisecond here after t dot here or tick. So at a event handler occurs when a specified time interval has elapsed. Time is never. So here taking t and here plus equal to new. So directly that come event handler. So this is what event handler request method that handle event or uh, that has no event data. Now here after here we need to pass to or uh, parameter so at here first I am going to click on form here double click on so this is the 
timer take event open. So this timer take event I am going to pass inside event handler. So right at your timer underscore take. And uh, here after I'm going to create to one method. So giving at here the name of modifier private and here void and here giving the method and rand underscore take. So this is my method and uh, here inside to L. So L is the object of list class. This is the object and here L equal to name and here list. It's practical and here after double bracket. Now here add dot. So I'm going to add the range. Here new keyword and here hint. So in desert tab and here I'm going to add the range. So add here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, here this is the range that I set. So, this rand underscore pick method or writing inside form one constructor. So, rand underscore pick method so when the constructor call so here that set interval here take event that call here after that go to this part so that call rand underscore pick here is the and is the object of list class and your name oh i added the range 0 to 25 now here after let's go to form here double click on button so button click event it's open so i am going to start the timer now here after picture box one dot here visual so add your setting false and your picture box two dot visual setting at your false picture box 3 dot visual setting false picture box 4 dot visual setting false so this is inside to button and here I'm going to take integer variable the name is index and here R. So R is the object of random class. So here I'm going to call next method. So here about the next method returns non negative random integer. So add here first parameter 0. So this is the minimum value and maximum value. So maximum value here. Or writing count. So we need to use at your L dot. So directly at your see counts. It's come now. Here after let's go down here. I equal to L and your going to increase the index so index plus plus and here after l dot here using remove method remove add 
So this is the remove add method. So that remove the index also. So this is the code inside button form. Now here auto go to form designer. Here double click on timer. So timer big events it's here. So at your first time going to increase the value of CNT and your if statement if CNT double equal to one. So add your picture box one dot visual. So add here I am going to set the value with true. So here is the picture box one. Here is next I am going to set the value at your picture box three. One turn so picture box here or CNT2 so at your picture box painting 3. So 3 already done here I am passing 4. And if the picture box CNT is uh, 2 again so at your I am going to print picture box 2. So if the picture uh, CNT value is 3 so at your passing 3. So control B if the picture box add here 4. So add here passing 4. Now here after inside the 4. Let's so stop the timer. So at a T dot stop. So stop method here calling. Now here and initializing the value C T with 0. So this is the code to uh, move or uh, rotate any picture randomly, change picture any randomly. So let's uh, execute the code. So I have this is the four picture. I'm going to click on button. So one, three, two, four. So one three four two. So at your four one three four two. So this is the way we can change the uh, picture randomly. So by writing this piece of code. So this for this we need to one timer for button control and uh, for picture box. So in, you can increase also the picture uh, box at your. So now in this video it's over. So I hope this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.